Hello friends, once again welcome to BISPtraining.com and we are continuing designing our HR analytical model in IBM Cognos. So what problem we are going to solve today? Let's see. In today's session I am going to show you how to work with, how to solve a problem called role playing dimension. Okay. You might have gone through multiple document or video where they talk about theory concept of role playing dimension. I am going to show you how to solve role playing dimension. What was the, what is exactly the problem and how to solve it? Okay, in this example, if you look at carefully, and if you go by the formal definition, a table with multiple valid relationship between itself and another table is known as role playing dimension. In our case, we have got one table called employee expense fact fact table, which talk about various kind of expenses pertaining to employee, and there's another dimension called employee manager dim. Basically, it's an employee and manager detail dimension. Employee manager detail join it has joined with three keys. Employee is basically table it's an employee. I create three alias or alternate name to the same. EMP manager dim joined with employee on first time and it causes a create a one alias for employee. When I join employee key with this employee key, uh, we call this alias as employee and this bring the information pertaining to employee expenses. When I join this employee key with manager key, we get the expenses pertaining to a manager. Right? So maybe your context, your employee expenses remain same, but the context change. This is employee expenses, this is manager expenses, and there's one more uh, key over here called one over manager. Right? If you look at the hierarchy, employee, manager, and one over manager. So I join this employee key with employee manager key number second which is not mentioned over here manager key second right so employee expenses his manager expenses and one over manager expenses this is called role playing dimension if you know if i do not create a role playing dimension uh, my fact will be join with same dimension with three joins which is not correct and the kind of output which you get is not correct so we'll see the problem here and how to solve it okay i'm going to start my framework manager and show you the problem. Same data model we are continuing using but this time I import once again. I create new namespace so that we are going to solve the whole complete problem completely from beginning. Right? Create new namespace and uh, I name it as role playing dimension. Okay? Role playing dimension. This is I'm creating physical model right click and import the model, the original model. So I need data from my HR analytics, my HR model which we prepared in the past and we'll pull data from HR model. The fact table I'll be using over here called employee fact and I need to join this employee with my time dimension with time dimension, dim time, uh, dim time. I'll read all the foreign key and join accordingly. First I join with time dimension, second I join with organization key. So organization key and I also select the lookup table because key only it doesn't talk about complete information for query purpose. Employee position detail so employee position here you can find employee position dimension and respective lookup table. Then I pull <coughs> Employee detail and expense type key. So employee expense type and uh, employee expense type. Right? And we need to use employee employee dimension and employee manager dimension. Employee manager dimension. Right? To bring it, I like to bring them based on primary key and foreign key relationship. Import this. This is going to be my original model. Right? and you may see there may be join. I may not have a priming in foreign relationship between my fact and dimension. We'll see how it look like. So the best way to look at the graphical view of it diagram. Okay. I'll just zoom in, turn it to a star schema and display in size 75 or 50. Okay. Employee manager hasn't joined. I'll join it explicitly. I manipulated a model to some extent in order to present this example and therefore you don't see a join. 
I'm going to join this explicitly. So employee manager dim join with a factable based on employee key. I right click and create join. Uh, so my dimension to fact is always one to many. There's one join type. This is my original model. Then I join with the employee manager key one with employee key. Another join. Again, one to many relationship. And there's another join. This basically this join should come from a source system. And this is employee, this is employee manager, employee manager key two means one over employee. I join with this. So I this is now there are three joins. There are three joins, right? So same dimension playing three different roles. Now why there is a need of creating creating a role playing dimension? Why? Look at the problem over here. For example, I like to see the employee expenses, employee manager expenses, and one over manager expenses. This is my requirement. I like to see total expenses. My fact remains same. Expense total in three context. I hope the font is big enough. Make it 14. Employee expenses. I like to see this in three context. Employee total expense and therefore I join on employee key in order to get this information. Okay. Then I need manager total expense and therefore I need to join with uh, manager manager employee key, manager key. And then I join with one over manager. right and therefore I need to join with manager key 1 manager key 2 this is what we need this is what exactly we need but this doesn't happen now because if I the moment I query employee total expenses for each employee I like to see the expenses right click and when I test it I get the data over here I like to see total expense for each employee employee could be manager employee could be one over manager system cannot recognize this information Right, so I get expenses with respect to different people, right? And the default join my system takes based on employee. Look at this carefully. The joining criteria is employee key, right? The, this joining is on employee key. You can uh, keep a query over here and beautify this to make it easy to understand. Right now we are joining on employee key right we want to join based on manager key we want to join based on one over manager key but by default your system selects employee key to make it easy to understand and meaningful we'll create three instances of employee dimension and this is what I'm going to do in business model I can create an alias of same table with manager employee and one over manager and therefore this is the purpose of using alias so one way of solving, there are multiple ways of solving it. I'll create three instances of it. Right click, create one alias shortcut. I name it as manager. I create one more alias shortcut. I call this one over manager. One over manager. I know the font is maybe a little small to read. And these three contexts would have different joins. Right? With manager, I'm going to join with manager key. Right, manager key. And it says the join already exists. Do you want to override this join? Say yes. And dimension to fact is one to many. Cardinality one to many. Continue doing it. Right. Similarly, for one over manager, I join to employ manager key two become one over manager. It's also it is saying your relationship already exists. Say yes. Right? This is perfect. Now I can break up this joint. This I can create three alias of it. I keep this separate. I create one more alias for my employee. I may not have a proper joining data, so we are more concerned about query. You may not get an output. So I join with the employee key. 
this when I look at the expense here one too many when I look at this expense in the context of employee this is employee expenses this is the second one is manager expenses this is manager expenses when I look at in the context of one over manager this is one over manager expense this is a role playing dimension right now you can publish it and test the output this is one way one more alternate way of creating business model and uh, solving it out okay so uh, I show you alternate way I create a new business model and create name space and I call this under business model I call solution of role playing dimension okay. well I already have a name space for now I'm keeping the other I prepared in the past you can leave it okay so let's focus on this role playing dimension I create I'm only focusing on facts and these dimension so I create query subject model query subject I select so first I select fact employee expense right and I pull data from fact table fact employee expense perfect then I select three instance of manager employee manager dim three instance right click create your query subject first I call employee and I select this um, employee manager dim same three time I'm bringing it once again I bring it let me focus over here on graphical view employee um, I create one more instance query subject manager same table only context will change EMP employee manager and Finally, I create one over manager. Another name is query subject. One over manager. Employee manager dim. Okay. So you see one table got three instance. You can explicitly define join and say force cognos to process query with a specific join. That is what our, we would like to test. So previously you found the problem. Uh, when we join, it was always taking an employee as a primary as a uh, as a primary key. Okay, and therefore expenses we are getting only for employees. Now we join with employee. I'm going to explicitly join all that inherit all the join from your physical layer, unless you explicitly define create join or relationship between dimension to fact one to many between dimension to fact this time I join with manager key employee key relationship dimension to fact one to many and again one over manager key to employee key right I don't have a common key over here so it may possible you don't get any output but we are more concerned about the query let's look at this so first we test the first part of the query employee name and the total expenses of the employee employee total expense right click and test it I test the query perfect the query join this is my first part of the query employee expense let's take a snapshot of it so this is my first query and my focus area would be yep. 
paste it and you see let's focus on the joining part right this is our focus area and you look at carefully this joining is done on employee ID right this join done on employee ID or employee key this is in the context of employee now let's say query the second one uh, same one employee name this is a manager and to employee total expense test test data and this time it is employee manager expenses I copy this query once again and place over here right Oops. and this time it join on manager key right there's another instance we created Did I select right one? Ah, yeah, this is right one. We see this is the idea. Manager key, join with the employee key. This is not I think I have not copied it correctly. Let me copy once again. Employ first name and total expenses. Test it. Yeah, I did not copy last time correctly. Copy this and paste over here. And now you can see the difference. This time it is joining based on employee ID to manager ID see manager key and third query would be one over manager so I join employee total expenses and employee name the query remains same the context will change test the joining context will change and this is one over manager which is manager key too So this is why we need a role playing dimension and it should be handled in your, there are multiple ways you can create alias, you can create query subject, any way you can use it to handle them. Ultimate purpose is to define force cognos to use a specific join type. So this is a manager view, this is employee view when we join with employee key, this is manager view when I join with manager key and this is manager key too means one over manager view. And naturally when the joins are different, the output would be different. So that's it for today. This is how you're supposed to join uh, handle role playing dimension. So do watch the next videos of implementing HR analytical model and we'll see the complete how to build HR analytical model step by step. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more videos and thanks for joining and watching today video.